Hey, what's up guys? Fritz Personal Training and Self Defense. Finishing up our three part series on sliders. Today we have standing movements. If you get a chance, you're in Virginia Beach area, check us out 1060, Lynn Haven Parkway, Suite 109. Um, so, with the standing movements, very important that we keep the core nice and tight. Keep your chest up. And if you can't perform the movements the way that I'm performing them right now, that's okay. Start shallow, start slowly, and then as you start to get a little bit more fit, your range of motion gets better, you can start extending the movement a little bit. So we're gonna go into a reverse lunge and a lateral lunge. So a reverse, reverse lunge, we wanna make sure the ball of our foot is in the slider, making sure we're uh, nice and straight, nice and erect, core nice and tight, chest up, looking forward the entire time. We're gonna drop down into a reverse lunge, bringing the slider back, all the way until that knee touches the floor. Get a nice stretch on the quad. As soon as that knee touches the floor, you wanna start coming back up into that full staying position. We don't wanna rest on that back knee. We're not sitting there, we just want that knee to kinda of kiss the ground. So as we drop back, as soon as that knee touches, we're coming back into a standing position. Very important that we're keeping our core nice and tight the entire time. As soon as we, we relax that core, we're gonna start to lose balance, start to lose stability, and that's gonna mess up the whole movement. So again, making sure the chest is up and the core is nice and tight. A couple more. We wanna look at about 10 to 12 reps on each side, and then we switch to the other side. Um, ideally, maybe five to six rounds of this. If you're doing it alone, if you're compounding it with any other workout, you may want to do less, kind of depends on how you feel. Going into that reverse lunge. And back up. Second movement is going to be a lateral lunge. Again, ball of the foot in the middle of the slider. Chest up, core nice and tight. All right, we're going to drop into a side lunge. Very important that we keep this outside leg totally straight, no bending the knee at all. All right, pushing out, activating those glutes dropping our near side knee just as much as we can. We don't want to be too extensive with this motion. As soon as you start to feel like that quad is engaged, that those hands are engaged, we want to start coming back up. Everyone's range of movement is a little bit different, so don't try to take over the world all in one day. As soon as you start to come back up or come down into that line, you come back up. Try to make this movement as seamless as possible, all right? If you get here and you break and you have a hard time getting back up into the movement, you know you might have gone a little too deep. So again, start nice and shallow. And then as you start to get a little bit more comfortable with it, just slowly drop down into a lunge, keeping the knee right under our chest, keeping the core nice and tight. Again, we're gonna work about 10 to 12 reps on each side. Do it for five to six rounds. Again, if you're compounding with any other workout, just see how you feel, play with your conditioning a little bit, and then drop the reps or the sets down if you need to, all right? See you guys later, peace.